on another episode of the K-Swap 240 presented by Turn 14 Distribution. It's time to make some custom engine mounts, and this will be the only time you see me touching this steel. Before we get working on those engine mounts, I wanted to give you guys a quick sneak peek at the S2000 manifold. It is in place, it's bolted in, and I'm hoping that with the alternator in its factory location here, we may have some room for the uh, K-tuned power steering pump set up down here. So originally I was talking about going electric power steering, which we still may, but there is some hope that we may be able to use just the stock K-series uh, or K20 power steering pump and relocate it down there and everything should kind of work in cohesion so you can stick with all the OEM parts. Engine mount fabrication time, Vin. Where do we start? I don't know. <laughs> but I think the plan would be... Uh, so the problem with this is all these kind of mounts or these holes are on different levels. Uh, this is the most furthest one out, so what I'm planning on doing is we're gonna start with uh, drilling this in, using this as our kind of a point of reference, and then we're gonna make spacers for this hole to here, this hole to here. So now we have this uh, plate bolted in place. We kind of have a guideline of where this plate needs to come. So the next step would be to drill the holes for here, we'll make these measurements here. And then once we can figure this out, uh, make the spacers from the rest of the two other holes, this one and this one, and then they should be close enough to start making brackets and boxing it in and welding it together. So next we're just going to try to figure out what this distance uh, for this spacer is going to be, which it looks like... 2701. 20, uh, 2101. 21. So we'll cut a space for 21. And then there's one down here that's going to be 6.3. Yeah. We cut the spacer a little bit short of 21, but nothing in life is perfect. I'm going to see that it does fit pretty nicely, so... We'll toss this in. This bolt's a little bit too long for yeah, this yeah. application, but as you can see, it does fit exactly where it needs to be. Uh, we'll weld this to this plate, and then we still got one more spacer to make on this side. So we got the last uh, spacer in. Just gonna tack it up again and then test fit it once more and hopefully everything fits perfect. So this should ideally be our last test fitment, right? Hopefully. So that's it. So we're at our final stages of uh, getting this kind of all put together. Uh, at this point, what we're gonna do is trying to shape this metal to look pretty aesthetically and get it ready for um, connecting this piece to this piece. Uh, being it's all custom and we're not really sure how these things look, we're gonna have to cut off a bunch, make it look nice, probably make a box it in from this slide to here, here to here, and then this corner to this corner, and it should give us a strong mount. Vin, I see you have resorted to using a plasma cutter here. Why? Instead of, we've been using the bandsaw for a while, right? Because I'm lazy. <laughs> this just cuts things so much faster. We'll cut it, cut the shape that we need to be, and then we'll shape it down so it looks super pretty. But to hand cut this by the bandsaw, it just takes way too long. So 
So I cut off a bunch of material. Now we just gotta shape it down to make it look nice. Yeah, that was super easy, you're right. That's it. Plasma cutter for the win there. So here's our uh, final shape. It's all contoured and pretty as much as it can be. Yeah, it looks be. good, man. That looks real good. And uh, DP. Oh. Yo! What did you think about putting in the uh, custom engine mounts, right? A lot, lot of work. It was a lot of work. I've yeah. been sweating hard over here. Did you just try to give Tim Hortons a plug? Well, they don't pay know, us, so uh, I got in I trouble I because I said that their, uh, their, their potato wedges were garbage and I got chirped by my fellow Canadians, so I figured I'd better let them know I still support the roll up the wind, the rim. And I their still drink my potato teams. wedges are garbage. They're still yeah, they're garbage. They're still garbage. They are 100% garbage. Are 100 garbage. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't do those. But but you guys teams. are like a walking Tim Hortons ad That's right now. They are, yeah. And this year they switched to the Honda. It's always been a Toyota before. This year, series. This year they're, they're going the K-Swap. That's a K-Swap Honda right there, everybody. <laughs> it's not really swapped, but it's got a K in it. All right, so step number 432 is uh, making the three pieces of metal that will connect this plate to this plate. Looks like you've got some fancy metal and you did a bunch of work cutting that stuff out there, right? Yeah, so finally we got our three pieces that we'll use to tack it together. Yeah. Um, essentially, we'll have this piece here, this piece kind of in the center, something like that, and we'll box that in after. We'll have this piece on the edge here, and that should give it plenty of strength. And so let's just get started with that then. So this is kind of what the engine mount's gonna end up like. Uh, I'll make a couple of uh, pieces of metal here to box this in, weld the rest of this together, and that should be the left side of the engine mount. That was a lot of work, but well worth it. It's gonna be amazing. I can't wait to see this thing when it's finished. Well, let's hope it's amazing. Would you look at that? We've got ourselves a legit engine mount, and boy, does it look nice. Vin killed it on this one, so now it's time to move on to the other side and get the other one done. That's a wrap on this engine mount fabrication episode. That was a big job. It took a lot more time and effort than I imagined it would, but that just goes to show you I'm not a fabricator. Finn did a great job for us, so thanks for watching. Still lots more good stuff to come. Give us a thumbs up if you like the K-Swap, and if you're an SR20 guy, let the hate flow through you. A new for Speed Academy. <laughs> That's right. Get your forklift license. So we're, uh, we're going up top of this bin, and we'll explain to you why in a moment. Things we do for engine swaps, PT. Well, I want to just say that uh, I've never operated a forklift before. So if I die, it's, uh, so, it's uh, my own choice. <laughs> up you go, DP. Up you go. How am I supposed to get up there after this, though? You don't. You just stay there. This is not sketchy at all, huh? No, no, we're totally good. Take two here. 
Ready? I'm ready. Up we go. Dave didn't want to step off Tell with the wife, shady way <laughs> that we had set this up prior, so. Smaller gap here. I'm feeling a little better about it now. All right, that's as high as I go for you. So this is a K20. A3, I A3, think, right? A3, right, out of a Civic SIR EP3. And we're thinking this water neck may be the right size for the K24. Oh yeah, it may work. I've taken the bolts out, so I just gotta get the hoses off and then we can have a quick peek. Yeah. It might be the right one. So this is how you uh, scavenge parts when you're swapping motors that we scavenged parts off before because we took this off <laughs> for your brother's car, didn't we? Yeah, we took it off of our K24. That looks like a heart, Peter. Uh, that looks like That's good what news. you need. That's the shape off the K24 too, yeah. so I think we can actually use that. Which is good. Yeah, success for a change. It's time to make some custom engine mounts with some hot rolled steel. We want a cold rolled, we got hot rolled. I don't even know what that means. 